Okay, in this video we're going to draw another uh, diatomic molecules molecular orbital diagram, but in this case it's going to be a heteronuclear diatomic molecule, uh, meaning the atoms that make up the molecule are two different species. Uh, so that makes it a little more complicated. Uh, there's just a few more things you need to know. Um, so we're going to be looking at this hydrogen fluoride molecule. Uh, I have the electron configurations of the hydrogen and the fluoride. Uh, fluorine written here already. Um, so to be, we're going to begin the same way we did last time by writing down the atomic orbitals for both hydrogen and fluorine. Um, so let's do that. So hydrogen is the easier one, so let's start with that. We know we have a 1s orbital with one electron. Um, where it gets a little tricky is we have to consider the fluorine molecule now. Um, the first thing you need to know is that the uh, most electronegative atom is going to have lower atomic, uh, lower uh, atomic orbitals in energy. So, uh, for the case of fluorine, we're going to begin by drawing the two p orbitals down here. Um, the reason I'm considering the two p is because the bonding is going to take place between the valence electrons. So, for hydrogen, we just have this one electron we need to consider. Uh, for fluorine, we have the valence electrons in this very outer two p level. This is where the bonding is going to take place. So technically this fluorine also has a 2s and a 1s level, but they're already filled. Uh, they're not going to participate in bonding, uh, they're considered part of the core uh, in, in a sense. So once again, uh, we're drawing this guy as lower in energy. Remember energy goes this way. So more energy toward the top of the page. I mean this 2p level is lower than this 1s. And of course, let's fill in this. So the, the 2p has these five electrons sitting in it. Uh, so let's form the MOs. So we know the 1s is going to overlap with the 2px level uh, to form a sigma bond. So it's going to form a sigma and a sigma star orbital. Remember, the 2p... Uh, x overlaps head-on, so it's going to overlap with this 1f, and these are the orbitals we're going to end up making. Um, the remainder of the 2p orbitals have nothing else to interact with, so they're just going to remain uh, as atomic orbitals. So they're the same energy as they were previously. There's 2py and 2pz. Um, so now we know we have to fill in these molecular orbitals, so let's do that uh, once again. This electron here it's going to interact with this electron here. They're going to live in this sigma orbital. Uh, so we're filling in lowest energy first. And then these remaining electrons in the 2p will just stay where they are. So, um, yep, yeah, that gives us our uh, MO diagram for this molecule.